Nikki, I appreciate you giving me this interview because June is National Candy Month. And if anyone knows me, I am a candy dish raider. Okay. Like Good. crazy. Nice. I've always been like this. So Sweet Pete's and the Candy Apple Cafe in the house today. Joining me now is Jennifer Ernest, the co-owner of the Candy Apple Cafe and Cocktails. A few tips for sweetening up our celebration July 4th. This is a good one because most of the time July 4th, the kids are out. So it's not just for adults. But it is for adults. It can be for the kids, too, with the candy. Well, I say a good party, just like our building needs to touch the kid inside all of us. Mm, so you, you want to kind of create a party that has elements for everybody in it. So starting with um, one of, we have a great craft candy cocktail program at the building. I love our watermelon sour. Okay. I love it for summer because what's more summer than watermelon? Yeah, watermelon, yeah. Um, it also can be done ahead, which is important when you're working on a party at your house. So and true. the other thing that's great about it is it's a wonderful mocktail as well as a cocktail. So you can do it either way. Yeah. Exactly. So Just I make sure you label out. it. Yeah, well, I batched it out as a mocktail. Okay. And then I'll usually put on my bar the ingredients uh, so that the smart. adults can just spike it if they okay. want for so whoever wants what's that. what's in here? So it's three parts watermelon juice one part um, lime juice, and then a splash of Sprite. That's easy. Super easy okay. to do. Are you really like pressing out watermelon? No, you can okay. get a really awesome watermelon juice. We get it from a company called Blue Buddha, but if you go to any of your like health food stores, you can get a great watermelon right. juice, and that's all you have to use. So this is gonna be light, not too sweet. Exactly. And then you can add as much vodka as you want. Yes, and, and in fact, we're using rum and a little bit of watermelon oh. pucker is what oh, we use. Oh, I love yeah, it. Spike it. Rum is even better. And then what's fun for us is you can make the garnish really over the top. So yeah. it kind of doubles as a fruit skewer and a garnish. Right. So we take Take watermelon, we slice it out, um, put your star shapes that you use, the same as holiday cookies, a couple blueberries, and then a watermelon sour candy oh, on the bottom. So it's a subtle touch of candy. And that's so yeah. special yeah. Yeah, for your guest. All right. And then you, you even suggest, I mean, we see these at weddings now, the candy buffets, but they're not that difficult to do. They're not. And candy buffets aren't wholly original, but what's nice is I'm using it here as your centerpiece. Mm, so it can okay. double on your tables or your buffet. And what's great about candy is it's so versatile. So right. you've got lots of colors, shapes, and sizes. Right. And if you choose your candies right, it can hold up to the summer heat as well. Okay. And that's important to consider because yeah. a lot of times people set up outside. Absolutely. And, and these will do okay, you think? Yeah, okay. absolutely. These are great. Hard candies, gummies, the taffies, um, especially if you're like undercover a little bit. So mm -hmm. it's warm, but not in the blazing. Okay. And so if, if we're setting this up, little baggies, I guess, for people or yeah, what's the Little baggies best? or if you're going to Sweet oh, Peas. that's cute. Okay. They have their awesome candy boxes. Nice. So it's perfect. In addition to the candy, you can add in a couple other elements to keep it fun, whether it be the pinwheels, mm -hmm. bubbles, little tattoos, things that everybody can kind of enjoy yeah, and get what makes both with. the adults and the kids happy. Yeah, absolutely. And then s'mores. We did that. We were on vacation last week and we did s'mores like several nights and it's just fun. Well, it is. And if you're talking about summer entertaining, yeah. we've had a like really like a lot of rain this season. Yes. So this s'more station is great because it can be inside or outside. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So we don't let the uh, rain dampen our parade right. for sure. Um, and then using Smeep, Peeps, I think is a fun way to I add know, something. I love that idea. Element. Let's. I'm going to pick it up. So you've yeah. kind of already made our s'more. But yeah, this... Well, we can make one too, but this okay. is... So I do a traditional s'more. I do the um, Hershey's chocolate bar, your marshmallow on top, and then I take the Peeps um, which we have right up front. Okay. And those have a little bit of sugar, so they're fun to caramelize. I'll step back Let's and I'll it. grab you one. It's perfect to do s'mores at 9 o'clock in the morning. Absolutely. <laughs> we say eat dessert first, Yeah, right? so you're actually going to toast this a little bit? Yes, yeah, so okay. I toast that. That's what I put on it. So if you want to toast that one, it takes a little bit longer okay. to get the peeps going. But you're but just going to soften them a little bit. That's yeah. so cute. And they're still selling peeps? Peeps they, are year round now. Yeah, peeps can okay. be year round. <laughs> That's important to know. And and what is this? This is because so there is flamage. Yeah, so this is Sterno. <laughs> okay. Which you can get you can get it at any restaurant store, oh, no. or you can find it in the camping section. At it's like quick. Target or Walmart it gets it fast. Okay. Um, so you kind of let that go over and toast it. Right. You want to make sure you cover it with something that's non-flammable. I'm on fire. <laughs> there you go. I'm on fire. Get it nice and toasty. Okay. And then gonna do add oh, that. Yeah, that works. Okay. And then and I then put my, my s'more on top because, or my peep, peep on, top on top. And there we go. Because it's so cute. Okay, I love it. Yeah. So fun. Okay, some great ideas for the holidays. And I see the messier it is, the tastier. The it tastier. Is. Yeah. So, we'll be, yeah, we'll we be eating. Sort of, I'm gonna keep myself composed, and then I'm gonna yeah. raid your candy dish. Absolutely. I, I think am that's in a good heaven. call. All right, so if you'd like to share this interview with someone else or you'd like to go to Sweet Pete's, you guys are downtown and dinner, lunch. Breakfast, lunch, yeah. dinner. And we also have well, brunch and lunch and dinner. Okay. Um, and we also have a great third floor event space. So if you want to use any, these are all favorites from our third floor space where we do bar and bat mitzvahs, corporate events, weddings, things okay. like that. Um, but these are easy tricks that you can take and use at your house party. Okay, thank you for talking so yeah. I can swallow. All right. <laughs> on newsforjax.com if you want to see this interview again. Nikki, I'm sorry. <laughs> I should have okay. waited. Um, this is the glutton <laughs> melanie. It's so hard. I'll think right? about yeah. it. It's so fun. Uh, all right. <laughs>